Hello, Zero K fans! Welcome to Nanal is at Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333 bringing you a few exhibition matches today, starting out with a match between Ikens and Jasper on Avalanche. This is a map I haven't actually shown off in a long time. It's a pretty interesting map. It doesn't really obviously seem that big, and it's not that big. It's actually a fairly feast map, though, as you can see. There's a lot of metal in the center, it's about 12 ish metal in the center, and then another 12 metal pretty. Pretty commonly gone for in the southwest. Northeast is a bit less lucrative with only four metal, but you'll still see people go there for pretty often. That's usually used as a route to attack. So people will go up this north cliff here and then down the other side and attack from there. South side, not so much, but the south side is still fairly interesting and does get used mostly for economy. Anyway, get this game going. Light vehicles for Icons and Hovercraft for Jasper. Hovercraft has become very popular recently. Amazingly popular recently because of scalpels. The very unit we see right now, the scalpel is basically the reason for this. Because scalpels are. They're not that quick, but they're very powerful area of effect homing units that don't overkill. They used to overkill, and at that point you could use light units to deal with them. Now they don't, so dealing with them is a pain. Light units can still kind of work, but doing it cost effectively is rather challenging. Like it was playing the other day and I just tried using racketeers and well, I was playing shield bots. I probably should have used dirt bags, but definitely like racketeers were handy, but keeping up with the scalpels is tricky, and then for light vehicles, darts can be useful, but slashes are what Icons is going for. I don't think Icons actually realizes that they're gonna be fighting hovercraft right now. Jasper has not revealed themselves and Icons hasn't really scouted them out. Icons Commander oh, heavy machine gun very early upgrades for only for Icons. Jasper much more focused on getting their early economy going. So now both players are aware of the other's factor choices. Icon's gonna change. They continue to go on slashers. Interesting. But this is gonna be a bit of a challenge. I mean, this there's only one scalpel right now, but there's going to be far more scalpels very soon. And it looks like the typical halberd scalpel play is gonna be starting up from Jasper. Very common play. The halberds basically take care of any light units you do throw at the scalpels. I mean, if you throw them in a large enough mass, then they'll either get distracted by the halberds, or the halberds just hit them. And deal with the fact that the scalpels have a really, really low fire rate. Which is their one main weakness, is their fire rate. I can slash or advance. Interesting choice. Jasper will be prepared for a bit of a counterattack, but that's only... I don't know, not really. One dagger isn't going to do it, so this is... This should be nice. This should be some breathing room for Icons. They'll need to get set up fairly quickly though, and it looks like they're stuck with they're going with slashers. I shall have to keep this in mind if I am ever doing light vehicles versus versus hovercraft. And the hovercraft decides to go for scalpels, though the, the halberds are gonna be a problem. What'll end up happening is the halberds will rush up. Are they on hold fire mode? Yes, they are on hold fire mode. So the halberds are on well, this one's on hold fire, this one hasn't yet been configured. Yeah, the halberds are going to be on hold fire mode, and what will happen is the slashers will just hit the halberds, wasting their shots while the scalpel comes in from behind and smashes them up one by one. Because each slasher will be one shot by the scalpel. The scalpel deals 622 damage, a shot, and there we go. The halberds coming in. Actually, the halberds just... The halberds are enough. The scalpel doesn't even need to come in. The halberds able to do the damage they need to do, breaking up the slasher line, and that's why slashers are not so popular in this matchup. Or at least why they're kind of tricky. I mean, Icons isn't unwise to use them. They'll just need some support forces. Like, darts or scorchers or... Well, ravagers, I guess. Ravagers actually would probably be the best idea. Honestly, darts are good. For the sake that they... Or for the fact that they do kind of mess up scalpel aiming. But an Icons commander about to go down. Ooh. Very nice dodge. Is that going to be successful? No, no, it will not. But hey, the halberds are down. Jasper is going for mace, which is an interesting choice. I mean... I guess the scalp, the slash is gonna have a hard time dealing with the mace, but at the same time, that's not that hard of a time. I mean, really, that mace is such a slow unit, it's... Okay, getting aborted. Back to Halberds. Jasper taking the southwest side of the map, or at least setting themselves up to be able to take it. Keeping a dagger there just to make sure. And I was about to say, Raptors are another option, but the, scal the slashes are working well enough. Jasper wasn't really pushing much in. Jasper's lack of energy has actually been a major problem here. Like they've been accessing metal, which... For the amount of metal they've accessed, they probably could have gotten an extra halberd and or an extra scalpel. 
Yeah, 240, easy, yeah, that easily would have been another halberd or scalpel. But anyway, Ravagers do have the speed and they have the health, so dealing with scalpels, Ravagers are a really good option. The only problem, of course, being their cost. But yeah, they, they can take three scalpel hits and not die. And they're fast enough to keep up with scalpels. Any other option that's fairly quick, like levelers, wouldn't be able to keep up with a, a dagger support force. And Jasper sacrificing their commander to, I guess, destroy these slashes as quickly as possible. I don't think that was the intent. I think that was a mistake. I mean, yes, they could theoretically use the burst, but that would be silly. Anyway, it looks like this factory's down. With that, that's going to be the game. Jasper has no way back into the game with no energy. And I don't think any workers reclaim. Yep, Jasper throws in the towel, so that was game one. Bit of a short game. But don't worry, there are more games. Longer games. That was just a nice little warm-up game. Next is going to be a game between Sprung and Orphelius on Akylan Wastes. A map I haven't seen before. I think it's based on a StarCraft 2 map. It looks very StarCrafty. I keep saying that. And it's like, I keep saying, I think it's based on a StarCraft 2 map. I don't know. Well, yeah, sorry about that. However, I actually did get Legacy of the Void recently, so I will be able to play around with that. I'm also probably going to stream that later tonight. Not, no promises, but I might. I, although, admittedly, if you're watching on YouTube, that'll just be another YouTube video. Because I kind of want to, I don't know, play around with it a bit. I think it's an improvement over StarCraft II, Vanilla, Wings of Liberty, and Heart of the Swarm. It's just, has some issues still, I think. Anyway, that's not the point. That's not the game we're playing right now. We're playing 0K just on a map that looks like it's from StarCraft 2. And that'll be up in just a moment, so stay tuned. <laughs> 